What has Andy Griffith got in terms of his acting style and personality that makes him so popular? Well, you know, Andy always says, America likes their stars to be a little bit greasy. I mean, if you're too clean, he figures you're not going to make it. <laughs> but it's not that he's dirty, but uh, he's real. He can be real. I, actually, uh, aside from Griffith, his performance in The Face in the Crowd is one of the great performances of American you know, cinema history. He's a good actor. He's proven that. Yeah. What about uh, Don Knotts? Uh, did he have that style when he came in there, or the nervousness? or? Well, he had been, uh, on the Steve Allen, he did that nervous stuff. Uh, and we used that once in a while. We even did a whole picture about it, called The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. But uh, uh, he seemed, to, Barney seemed to be a real person. And how that's accomplished, that's acting. How was he to work with? Marvelous. Yeah. Marvelous. And Andy the same? Marvelous. Did Andy ever reject lines or scripts? No. He, he would say, let's fix this. And together we would fix it. What about Aunt B, Francis Bavier? Well, that's another story. <laughs> uh, we didn't get along. Be kind. We didn't get along. Uh, every time that there was a cast party or a rap party or something, she would say to me, there's only one thing wrong with this show. And I'd say, what is it? She'd say, the writing is terrible. And I just couldn't forgive her for that. That's being unappreciative, isn't it? It certainly is. Although, you know, her character seemed wonderful and an odd, strange woman. Did she try to change that character at all? I mean, in terms of giving you hints on what kind of character she would like to play? Uh, not then, but uh, in, in uh, Return to Mayberry many years later, she wouldn't do anything we wrote with her. How about Ronnie Howard? Oh, he was the most wonderful little boy. Just terrific. And talented. Yeah, just terrific. Did you write special stuff for him? Well, the, just what was needed, and he did everything beautifully. His parents were terrific people, smart parents. They didn't treat him like a like stage mother and father. No, no. Nobody did. Sometimes even Andy would say, now I'll tell you what you did wrong. Uh, you know, he, Andy would explain to him things.